Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning, wherever you are watching me from. Thank you for joining me. And um, it's very, very important that uh, you, play, you pay close, close attention to what I'm about to talk about. Now, if you're one of those youths who are um, searching for employment, you've been writing application letters, you're searching for employment, you want to get a job because you want to get independent, you want to start making a living for yourself, you want to establish yourself and you want to leave your parents' house, you want to stand on your own and embark on a life and pursue your life goals. If you're one of those who's seriously searching for a job and you've been applying everywhere i want you to listen to this because this will open your eyes and it will open your your mind to the challenges that some of us who you have employed as your counselors or as your leaders in various institutions the challenges what we face now you have to understand that uh, the job crisis or the unemployment crisis in Zambia is very, very serious. And I'm about to tell you a story that will highlight what exactly is going on and what exactly is the challenge in ensuring to say that we create equal opportunities for all. Now, I'm a councillor at Musaka City Council. I come from the UPND. And when we were campaigning as a party, we did promise jobs. We did promise equal opportunity, not biased opportunity, but equal opportunity to everyone that warranted or deserved a job on merit. You've seen that happening in the teaching recruitment. You've seen that happening in the health workers recruitment. Of course, those things are not without their hiccups, but by and large, we have people who had no connection whatsoever, people who knew no one whatsoever getting an opportunity. And that tells you that really this government means well for the people of Zambia. It means well for the youths. We are equal to the task and as much as possible, we want to create opportunities for everyone to work. Whether you want to be an entrepreneur or whether you want to get a, a day job, those opportunities we are trying to create. Now, here in Lusaka and at Lusaka City Council in particular, there have been two big job openings or two big recruitments that have taken place. The first one was uh, in, uh, in January. The first one was in January. The second one was just about two weeks ago. In the first recruitment, the opportunity was for 150 workers to be employed at Lusaka City Council. Lusaka City Council is the biggest council in Zambia. And not only is it the biggest council in Zambia, but it also has the biggest problems in Zambia as far as councils are concerned. It has got the biggest problems and it's the most complicated council to run. I'll tell you why. Follow me as I tell you a story. The second recruitment was recently and this is now what has forced me to come live and uh, share this with you because some of you think that as councillors, all the, 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 the applications that you've been, you know, bringing, we've been advising you, you want a job, write an application to the city council, direct to the HR. You think we are not creating jobs for you or we are not creating opportunities for you or we are not alerting you to jobs. We are alerting you. All the jobs now are advertised. But now, what happened with these 256 uh, they recently employed is something that has got me worried. And if it hadn't been for somebody that I know highlighting this problem, I wouldn't even have, I wouldn't even have bothered. Okay? I wouldn't even have bothered. And I want you to be clear on one thing. I want you to be clear on one thing. It's not all the workers that Lusaka City employs as an administration or as an institution. There are some other people who are employed somewhere and brought to Lusaka City Council. Get that point very well. It's not all the workers that Lusaka City Council employs. There are some other workers who are employed from somewhere. Now, in this 256, the problem that I have found is that... Uh, Number one, 
these people very few know who they are but some people know who they are now when they were employed these latest 256 i'm talking about the latest employed people these 256 who were employed when they were employed someone called me some lady that i know and this is a lady who was recently employed in in, in february she was recently employed this is one of the people whereby uh, she was constantly knocking on my door constantly calling me are there any job opportunities i told her look just apply apply to the hr and when opportunities are there you will be called when she was finally called she called me to thank you and i was frankly surprised say hey she has got the job i said congratulations to me it proved yet again that the system is fair and the system was is open that was on the first 156 because those were employed by the lusaka city council nobody brought them to us to say oh well lusaka city council we've recruited on your behalf here you are no those we employed by our by ourselves and there are two or other three people i know these are people when they were employed somebody could say oh i know that guy or i know that lady those are people from society those who were not a uh, upnd they were not pf these were ordinary people who had gotten the chance to get a job so i was called by this uh, young lady uh, a few days ago and she said ah well, counselor, me up to now my i'm still on a on contract but then there are these other people that have been employed uh, they have been employed by a local government service commission and they have come on permanent and they are even boasting to say that eh, not when to our na footy not well so manje for even event to not well eh even more to sangire more of a contract team way how much to yala kwa eh mwala kufiango you get that those were the words that they used exactly for even event to not well even more to sangire more eh i'm a contract yala kwa mwala ya kufiango mwala ya kuma toilet these are cashiers by the way 256 cashiers clicks there's a mix of it so i wonder to say what kind of people have have been employed and i'm talking about the 256 now these 256 were brought by local government service commission because local government service commission is mandated to employ a certain category of employers us as council we can only employ toilet cleaners general workers those are the ones we were told these are the ones you can apply so those are the ones we apply it's us okay but cashiers going up there those that are a bit skilled is the local government service commission they are the ones that are responsible for employing them so those are the, the people that employed these 256 and those of you who want to blame us to say why are we not getting the jobs we are seeing other people getting employed but why are we not getting employed us as Osaka city council as councillors we have no hand and nothing to do with the employment of those people actually if things worked well we were supposed to be even uh, consulted because we can recommend our role is to recommend to the local government service commission for employment uh, termination or promotion we can do those recommendations but on this one we were not consulted for our recommendations even for the scrutiny what has ended up do what has ended up happening is that now we've got certain malcontents or questionable characters okay questionable characters of a certain political party and i'll be very blunt these are the people who when we came we said who are these people that have been employed are working without contacts we, we we pruned a lot of people okay we sent a lot of people away because we had found people on payroll but without contracts so we did a lot of cleaning up it was a very very hard job cleaning up Lusaka city council because you know Lusaka city council has got the the worst kind of scandals anywhere you look is Lusaka city council we did a lot of cleanup to ensure to say that we got rid of malcontents and i'm going to tell you the kind of characters that we we got rid of we did a very hard job as as councillors as of the, the officers and directors everybody we said let's clean this up nobody should be on a payroll when they don't have a contract we did that cleanup what do we have today our work has now been taken apart because from the local government service commission we have been given people that have come back on permanent and pensionable basis by the way permanent and pensionable basis and now they are boasting to say who does that 
What kind of a worker does that? We left the people until only day one, and you are intimidating the people that you have found. You are already boasting. For me, that is not a new employee. For me, that is not a good employee. For me, that shows that there are characters whom we got rid of because they do not have the requisite qualifications or were not entitled to be at that institution. We got rid of them, and now they have come back through the back door. They have used law government commission as the back door. Now, let me pause a little here. You have heard the president say, at the higher level, they are saying the right things, they are making the right, correct uh, policy decisions, but at the middle and lower, the system is not responding. When you're talking about a system, you're not talking about a ghost, no. We're talking about a group of people, officers, they are in the middle and lower, who are not obeying orders or who are not following the policy guideline of the president. The president said it himself, and it is very true because here where we are, at Lansaka City, we are local government, we are at the bottom, we are next to the grassroots, next to the people. That's why in Gatsukulivishara, issues of blocked roads, blocked sewers, all the issues that you face in your areas of residence, you come to the council. We are there at the bottom. Here at the bottom, it is wild because people are not responding to police decisions. As as the councillors, as UPNT councillors, when we came in, we did a cleanup. After doing the cleanup, here we are. We have received 256 people whom we do not know. And these people are boasting, are telling those other people that they are found to say, We are bash. Eh? We are bash. We are bash. So these are people that have been in the system before. These are the people that we have retained. And it is very sad. It is very sad. It is very sad. And uh, you see, when we talk about uh, uh, the local government uh, service commission, we are not saying, we're not condemning everyone. In fact, we're not even talking about the highest people at that level at local government service commission. We are talking about the middle and lower people because these are people who do the day-to-day -day work. They bring you a, file, a, a bunch of files here. They, these are the people to be employed. Those people at the top level, they will just sign, 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 sign. But they don't know what they are signing for. That's why it is was important that as councillors, we are consulted. We are consulted and engaged in that process so that we can see if we say, oh, but local government commission, among these names, these 50 or 70 were recently dismissed because they were on payroll without being employed. These were working for five, six months without contracts. They were illegally employed. So please don't retain these people. At least we can give that kind of input. But no input was taken from us. And as a result, people who deserve jobs like yourselves, people who have got the qualifications like yourselves, people who earnestly want to work for this country, work for this council in particular, diligently for the sake of progress you are being sidelined people who have been there before for 10 years they are the ones that are coming back we are not creating opportunities for new people but we have created opportunities for the same old people to come and start doing the wrong things that they were doing i'll give you some examples there are so many scandals in Osaka City Council that if I wanted to talk about scandals today, I'll be here the whole day from 9 hours 16, itemizing scandal after scandal after scandal. The people, among us, the people that we that we got rid of when we came, were people like cashiers and market masters who went with receipt books home. Cashier or Mukanso home or market bus station, Ali send receipt book, Ayana in Akunganda. Cashing, they come, he carries cash from the market, goes with it home. No accountability. They were never disciplined. We got rid of these people. Among us, the people that we got rid of were drivers, Ali send company vehicle, Lusaka City Council company vehicle, I panga personal to order. Using that same vehicle, even for campaigns, campaigning for the PF, you know the scandal that was Quaker's compensation fund in Indola. Somebody is now in court because they released company vehicles for the campaign. Even at Lusaka City Council, they released company vehicles for campaign. It gives to a, to a driver. So many people, they carried these things. And as I'm speaking to you, there are some people who still have Lusaka City Council vehicles. They are their personal to hold. Now, Council Taisa Konokisa Komotok. Those are the kind of people that we got rid of. One character who is very notable, who I remember, uh, he got a vehicle, six vehicles actually, 
he was given with those vehicles Lusaka City Council vehicles he was given the first one when he just reported for work that guy never came back all he would come back is to get vehicles he got vehicles went to with them the campaigns it, it damages get the second one campaigns with it damages get the third it works with it damages four damages five six vehicles at an expensive cost he damaged those vehicles that person was never disciplined that person was never disciplined when we came we heard about it we said no way can this person be dismissed and can you make sure to say that he compensates the, the, the Swaka city council for the damage that he has done but those are the people so that would have created opportunity for new drivers new drivers our youth who are doing these uh, driving courses that would have created opportunities for them the cashiers i'm talking about who used to carry cash in your market as in the kunganda and the books as it were kunganda kunganda kwa bela office and nobody disciplines them because they know some people on top there these people should have been gone and new people who have done to my finance to my banking would have been employed there but those opportunities have gone back to the same characters eh? recently recently there was one character who was uh, dismissed and she came back nobody even knew that she had come back thankfully there are good people in the council in Lusaka city council there are good people who whisper to you say the cancer that person that you have brought back do you know that that person had this and this scandal then we check the records and say ah, yes but this person was dismissed how do they come back they were brought back back at what as what intent they came back as an intent the some job that they were fired from they came back as an intent now where does an intent come back and resume a position that is supposed to be held by somebody who is legally employed not intending intending it means you're a student you're just getting experience but this person is even given a, a cash book and an office we said that's not going to happen we removed them guess how they came back they didn't come back through the council they didn't come back through the committee because i've told you that there are two avenues which people get employed at the circuit council the first one is us as a city council through our hr committee and the officers in hr the second is from local government service commission the commission that is responsible for employment issues for all councils in zambia that person went through the back door local government and they came back upon our recommendation that's when we discovered say, ah no this patient should go they went so how many people have been brought back through this 256 how many people have been brought back whom we don't know people who have got questionable past at the Lusaka city council they have been retained and they have clearly said to say not to wear that is very sad for me then there are issues of unsung heroes there are some people that uh, we have uh, removed or who have been removed for us as a city council we had no hand in it okay and here i want to talk about an unsung hero there is a director a former director of housing at Osaka city council called danny chivinda danny chivinda for me he was the most hard-working dedicated and loyal civil servant i've ever seen at lusaka city council very hard-working this was a man of integrity danny chivinda guess what he was removed from Lusaka City Council and taken to Mufrila Municipal Council. You can ask all the 38 councillors of Lusaka City Council, including the PF councillors and one independent, if they were agreeable to that decision, we were not agreeable. In fact, we didn't even have a chance to be to be agreeable or disagree because we were not consulted. We are the people who are constantly on the ground interacting with these directors. If there was a transfer that was to be done, they should have at least asked us to say, councillors, how are you working with this director is it somebody that we can keep is this something somebody that we should do let go we could have been asked but no that person simply went now why am i saying that this danny chibinda is a very very important person or is a person that we should have kept at osaka city council now i want to talk to the upnd uh, supporters or upnd members or the upnd as a party okay especially those in kanyama constituents because they that is where this Danny Chibinda performed miracles. That is where this Danny Chibinda performed heroic acts. If it wasn't for Danny Chibinda, Kanyama would have fallen to the PF then. Kanyama would have fallen to the PF. Danny Chibinda was a person that saved the day. One of the councillors, Councillor Fred Mumba, 
ask him if you want. He was not supposed to be a counselor this time because when he found in his nomination papers, they took those nomination papers and hid them somewhere. So it was Jan Shivinda when he was doing the final check for all the contesting counselors. He said, Hey, this counselor, they are, they, his, his, his papers are not complete. He called the uh, counselor Fred Mumba in the middle of the night and said, you people, this candidate does not have it. What is happening? He said, no, we gave, we gave all the correct documents. There were people at the Lusaka City Council. And for those of you who don't know, who don't know, Lusaka City Council or local governments around the country, where in times of elections, these are the center of elections. The staff at the Lusaka City Council literally run the elections. The town clerk is a returning officer. Is it the returning officer district, DEO, district elections officer? It's the town clerk. This Danny Chivinda survived through that. And he was plainly told that BF to say, You will be the first one to go. To go. He was warned explicitly by people there at the Osaka City Council who are still there, who I don't want to name. They are still there. They want him to say, You will be the first one to go. Luckily, Danny Chivinda, for the first few months, he stayed. But we were very surprised when this director was uh, transferred. Because this was a director who suffered. He suffered immensely. immensely. And there are other people there in, in many, many uh, ministries and other uh, government issues who suffered. I do not know anyone who suffered like Danny Chivinda. Danny Chivinda was threatened left, right and center. During elections in Kanyama, the city council under the PF then, they withdrew vehicles and logistical support for Kanyama so that they could do properly rig those elections. Danny Chivinda, using one or two wishes, he got his own resources and the wishes contributed about his six trucks that were responsible for delivering material and doing all kinds of logistics in Kanyama until Kanyama prevailed, UPND prevailed in Kanyama. Those are the kind of people that we should appreciate. And when there was this transfer came, all of us councillors, we were disturbed. We went from office to office. Which office did we go to? Which office did we go to? My own MP Nikawata was engaged. He tried everything he could. Even uh, uh, the Kanyama MP. He tried everything he could. Nothing happened. As counselors, we tried everything that we could. We said, this person, there is no need for to us to take him away or transfer him or to let him go. This person is an asset, not only because of what he did during the elections, but also because of his quality, his skill. He has got the institutional memory of this council. He knows things at this council. And his department housing is the most critical because this is the one which looks after markets. This is the one that looks after uh, bus stations. This director, Danny Chibinda, ran this very, very difficult. This was a person whereby he wants to go and correct things at, at Intercity. They would just see his vehicle. These cutters would just use knives and puncture his vehicles. He was threatened on the ground. He was threatened on the office. They promised him to say, Iwet Kapita Chabe. We, 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 you are going. You will be the first one to go. We came in five months later. Danny Chivinda still went. Danny Chivinda still went. This was a person who was even requested by the Swedish government. The Swedish, the Swedish government saw that this person was so hardworking. He has been on several tours. They have engaged him on several uh, mutual uh, platforms of collaboration with the Lusaka City Council. They told him to say, Danny Chivinda, if your country does not want you, if your Lusaka City Council does not want you, come here in Sweden. We are going to offer you a job and you will never have to deal with the, the people that don't want you due to political reasons. They offered him that. If he wanted, he would have taken that opportunity. He could have gone. But Danny said, no, I want to save my country. There is a wind of change coming. There will be a government that is going to change. Let me stay and save my country. Danny Chivinda saved his country dutifully, like the ultimate patriot that he, 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 he deserves to be. If there are people that have to be awarded, Danny Chivinda needs to be awarded for what he did for Kanyama, what he did for the councillors in Kanyama, what he did for the MP in Kanyama, what he did for the UPND as a regime that was coming to bring change in Kanyama, what he did for the Lusaka City Council. This is a person whom we tried by all means to save, but he, he went. What am I trying to say? What well, I'm trying to say that those people whom as a council, as councillors, whom we are saying these must go, when they go, they come back. Those who we say these must stay, they are the ones who are going. So the question is, who is running the system? Who 
is running the system are they working with us or they are working against us when we want to say bad people to go those bad people don't go when we want people good people to stay those good people stay and the avenue that is being used now is the local government service commission because we are so disconnected truth be told we are so disconnected we are never visited we are never called we are never asked for our views on critical uh, uh, opinions to do with the local government and council work we are never we are never asked any questions we just see people coming we just see people going and that affects our work because like Danny Chiminda, i'm talking about the reason why there is Vishala. if there was Danny Chiminda in housing i can assure you in the cbd there in lusaka city in lusaka city in lusaka city in the cbd Cairo, Lumumba, cha -cha -cha, you would have never seen all those heaps of rubbish of rubbish there you would have never seen them in the market soweto you would have never seen all those heaps of rubbish this was a hard working man we let him go we go and pack him in a corner there in mufrila where he's just wasting away we separate him from his family we separate him from his children who are here he has to come back every weekend to see them meanwhile the president said i don't want families to be separated i want families to be reunited then we have people who are being separated this is what the president meant to say at the top there we are making the correct decisions we're making the right cause but the middle and the lower is not responding so the reason why i came to speak to you about these issues of jobs because i know jobs are so sensitive they are so critical a lot of young people are languishing in this country without jobs a lot of people who are qualified young people who are qualified who want a chance to work are not being given those opportunities because somewhere somehow the system is recycling recycling the same old people coming in and now these people are not only coming in on contracts these malcontents these wrong characters are not just coming in for con on contract basis they are coming on permanent and pensionable basis so in conclusion what we have now is a system that's not working for us as a government as upnd that is not doing what we are telling it but a system that is counterproductive that is working against what we wish for for the interest of the zambians i've just told you that people who must cancel us cancel us no better which officer is who which director is who which town clerk is who we know better who's working we know better who's not working you have brought us thieves you have brought us crooks you have brought us people who used to go with cash home who used to carry receipts taking them home you have brought us people who used to get away with company vehicles for circuit council they destroyed those com company vehicles right now they are down you you are bringing us people that reported for work were drawing salaries from Osaka city council they were never on the payroll those are the people that you are bringing them back and you have brought them back only permanent you have given them a bonus congratulations the pf are smiling ordinary zambian citizens upnd sympathizers and others who would have wanted opportunities they are still outside the old old people have come back and they have come back to stay and they are telling us manje tabuela isibene vanchito imo wame nitapaza pa makontrakti muyenda muyenda kupianga matoileti muyenda kubishala muyenda mkupianga that's Zambia for you. Thank you very much for listening. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you, peace. I gotta go.